and welcome in the video session of class 7 science chapter 3 fiber to fabric let's have a look on the learning objectives of today's video session today we are going to learn about fibers plant and animal fibers then two types of animal fibers wool and silk then the animals that yield wool and the processing steps to make wool from fibers and some of the important definitions too so let's start first with what are fibers fibers are the thread threads from which the fabrics are made so fibers are the thread like structures long thread like structures which are used to make the fabric fabric means the cloth okay? you can see in the diagram here this is the fiber okay? fiber is spun into yarn then two three fibers are spun or rolled together to make the yarn which can be woven on loom to make the fabric so fiber is then spun two or three strands of fiber are uh, collected together and a, and a new thread is formed which is called yarn and that yarn is then used to make the fabric and this whole processing is done on the looms looms means machines then the yarn is made by processing process of spinning spinning is done on the machines to make the yarn okay so what we have learned that fibers are the threads which are used to make the fabrics then fiber is spun into yarn from the fiber first yarn is made yarn is also the thread in which two or three fibers are rolled together then yarn is made by the process of spinning okay? on the machines the yarn is spin and then fabric is made now fibers are of two types one is plant fiber and the other one is animal fiber okay plant fibers we get from plants and animal fibers we get from animals so in this chapter we are going to learn about the animal fibers and we have to learn two animal fibers one is wool and the other one is silk wool we get from many animals sheep yak camels they are used to get the wools and silk is obtained from the silk moths okay so let us first see the wool so wool is the animal fiber which comes from sheep goats yak and many other animals these wool yielding animals have hairs on their body so here you can see a sheep which uh, whose body is completely covered by hairs these hairs are then uh, are then removed and uh, so this is the fiber now okay? so this fiber is then processed to make the yarn and then from the yarn the fabric is made right? now let's move on to the next slide and see why these animals have a thick coat of hair okay now these animals all the animals do not have this thick coat of hair why some of these animals have thick coat of hair so the answer is these hairs which are present on their body they trap a lot of air because in between the hairs the air get trapped and we all know that air is a poor conductor of heat here keep these animals warm so air get trapped inside air is a poor conductor of heat air will not allow the body heat to come outside so these animals will feel warm okay? and wool is derived from these hairy fibers these hair like fibers which are present on their body gives us the wool okay. now hairy skin of the sheep has two types of fibers the fibers or the hairs which are present on the body of the sheep they are of two types one is the hairs which are present on the beard beard means the hairs which are present on the face fine so be coarse beard hairs they are hard in nature and the fine soft under hair close to the skin and the other type of fibers which are present on their whole body on the skin of their whole body and they are soft in nature the fine hair provide the fibers for making wool so beard hairs are not used for making fibers only the fibers or the hairs which are present on the skin are used to make the fibers or to make the wool now animals that yield wool several breeds of sheep are found in different parts of the country many varieties of sheep camels yak is present in our country which give different types of wool wool available in the market is sheep 
wool. Generally, the wool which we get in market is the sheep wool, yak wool. Yak wool is found in Tibet and Ladakh because yak is the animal which is found in the areas which are generally covered by snow, cold areas. So Tibet and Ladakh, these are the cold areas where yak wool is found. We get the sheep wool in the market. Angora wool is obtained by Angora goats. This picture is of Angora goats. So we get Angora wools also from Angora goats. And this variety of sheep, uh, sorry, goat is found in Jammu and Kashmir. Wool is also obtained from goat hair. The under fur of the Kashmiri goat is soft. Okay, the goat which is found in Kashmir and the variety name is Kashmiri goat. So the fur which we get from this type of goat is also very soft. It is woven into fine shawls called Pashmina shawls. The famous Pashmina shawls of Kashmir are woven with the help of the fur which they get from Kashmiri goats. Okay. Fur of camel is also used. Lama and alpaca are also used that are found in South America. These Lama and alpaca are the animals which are found in South America and they also help in yielding the wool. Okay. Now let's move on to the next slide. From fibers to wool, how we get wool from the fibers which are present on the body of the animal. Now, for obtaining wool, sheep is reared. If you want wool, the first step is we have to rear the sheep. We have to nurture the sheep. We have to domesticate the sheep. So, sheep is reared in many parts of our country like Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and many other areas. Once the sheep is reared, reared means nurtured, means domesticated. It develops thick hair growth, then the hair is shaved off for getting wool. So sheep are reared, they are given good kind of food, good water to drink, tidy places to live and when the hairs present on their body they grow, then those hairs are shaved off, removed from their body to get the wool. So let us see the steps, how the wool is obtained. So first step is the fleece of the sheep. Now fleece is what? Fleece is the coat of hair present on their body. Okay. Fleece is the hair coat, the cover of hair which is present. The hairs present on their body is called as fleece. So the fleece of the sheep along with a thin layer of skin is removed from their body. And this process is called shearing. So what is shearing? Shearing is removal of the hair along with the thin layer of skin and that hair present on the body is called fleece. So directly you can write removal of fleece from the body of the animal is called shearing. Okay? So in the first step the fleece or the hairs are removed. Then in the second step the sheared skin with hair, the hairs which are removed along with a single layer, they are now washed. Okay, So the second step is washing of those hairs so that the dust and the dirt can be removed and this washing of the hairs is called scouring this is the second step then third one hairs of different textures are separated means now in that uh, uh, hairs some fiber some hairs are very long some hairs are very short some are medium sized so those different types of hairs are separated and this is called sorting okay, sorting out separating the different textures some hairs are hard some are soft so they all are separated here in this step sorting then the small fluffy fibers called burrs are separated in the fourth step small uh, fibers which get round off and they are called burrs they are also separated then the fibers are dyed in various colors those fibers are dipped in different colors to give them a uh, beautiful colors then the fibers are straightened those fibers are straight because they are rolled so they are straightened with the help of machines long fibers are made into wool so long fibers are used then to make the wool and that wool is then used to make the sweaters and the short fibers they are spun and woven in woolen clothes short fibers are used to make the woolen clothes and long one are used to make the wool for sweaters now let's see the diagram how these steps occurs. So here two pictures are shown. See in the first one this is shearing. This is removal of the hairs. How the uh, uh, the man is removing the hairs from the body of the animal. 
then cleaning and scouring this fibers are cleaned in a tank then grading means sorting we are sorting out now long fibers separate and short fibers separately okay this is also sorting out then drying they are colored if not colored then they are dried out and then baling now they are rolled into yarns okay in this diagram also you can see this is shearing done then these uh, wool uh, these fibers are then passed on to the factory here it is washed then after washing in the machines they are straightened and then they are rolled to make the wool okay so these are some of the steps in the ncrt textbook this picture is given okay shearing then scouring means washing then they are graded and long fibers and short fibers are separated out and then rolling into yarns this yarn is made which is then used for making the woolen clothes right now let us discuss some of the definitions so first one is shearing shearing is removing the fleece of the sheep along with thin hairs okay this is removal of the hairs from their body along with the skin also scouring is the washing of the sheared skin and hairs in a tank to remove the dirt then sorting sorting means to separate the different textures of the hairs long hairs and short hairs are separated then burs burs bull, uh, burs are the small fluffy fibers the fibers which are rolled into ball like structures they are called burs and then rearing rearing means taking care of the animal and providing them proper food and shelter this is called rearing okay so in today's video session we have discussed how wool is obtained from the fiber which we get from the body of the animals okay so there were some steps which we have learned first is shearing that is removal of the hairs from the body of the animal then scouring that means washing the fibers then third one is sorting separation of the fibers then separation of the burs also then the fibers are using some machines they are converted into yarns long fibers are used to make the shawls and short are used for making the this one sweaters and woolen clothes okay fine let's have a recap now so today we have learned about the animal fiber that is wool then how the sheep is being reared then uh, we have learned about the various animals that give us wool and then we completed the process of how fibers are converted into wool so this uh, in this video session we have learned about the animal fiber wool okay in the next video we'll learn about silk how silk is obtained and how it is processed okay till then stay home stay safe and enjoy